Hey, welcome to another edition of BeerAmerica.tv. I am Paul Leone with my good friend, uh, John, John Pinkerton. Pinkerton. There we go. And uh, we, we are very fortunate on occasion, and I know I'm saying this a lot for those who, who watch our videos regularly, to have uh, brewers send us beer. And you had a friend that sent us quite a few beers. Uh, yes. I remember a while back, remember Alaskan sent us that great big care package of several bottles. You know, usually it's one or two bottles, and don't get me wrong. Beggars can't be choosers. I'll take the one bottle in the mail anytime. Absolutely. But Mothers sent us several. They did bottles, and we're talking about Mothers Brewing Company. Mothers Brewing Company in Springfield, Missouri. Mm -hmm. See, I got it down now. You do got it down now. Yes. And what we're having right now, we're gonna to <clears throat> to, uh, to try is Sandy Hopped Up Wheat. All right. All right. So there's a couple things going on in this. I haven't done any research on this beer, but I'm excited about the prospect of hopped up and wheat. Hopped up and wheat. And I think we'll be able to tell pretty quickly what oh, yeah. what kind of wheat we're talking about just by smelling it. Maybe you can. I'll try. I'm just gonna go with American. American? American style. Oh, nice. On the nose. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. It's tangy. When there's a yeah. nice little hop, hop character. Yeah. I actually, when you say hopped up wheat, I was expecting more hops, and I didn't get knocked over with it, which was... Yeah, it's not like a juicy, you know, IPA. But everything stretch, is like but hopped up, you know, you think, okay, somebody's going to knock you, hit you in the face with it. And I guess what I was, you know, what kind of got me was, uh, like, once it hits your palate, you get that real bright uh, tangy quality, yeah. which I think is... Yeah. Is that a little carbonation impressive. or something that we're, we're... I mean, is it... It's tingly a little bit. You know, it's yeah, there's, there's some CO two in there. <laughs> well, I mean, it's but uh, you, you know, bright. Acidity, I interpreted it. Yeah, I often use the word bright when I'm speaking about acidity. Mm -hmm. um, and acidity hits your palate. Well, and just to be clear, CO two is acidity. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, CO two is the gaseous form, but um, in solution, it's carbonic acid, and it actually adds a. a See, an I did not know that acidity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, if you just like carbonated water, it has a little tanginess to it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's why. Uh, but this is this is quite nice. I mean, yeah. what, to me, when you have a, a an element of um, of tanginess like that, it adds to the refreshing quality of it. Mm -hmm. Like uh, just just light in and of itself doesn't necessarily make it refreshing. But when there's a, I mean, I think that's what makes wit beer so refreshing is that right. little, that little tang, that, that little tart note. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they, you know, basically on the side here it says it's a Belgian wit beer fused with the hop and soul of an American pale ale. A uh, touch of grapefruit zest. Hmm. I get that. And Sandy is, uh, is actually a, a tribute to the founder's mother. So there we go. Oh. And I will have added all of that right here <laughs> on the bottom probably. It's a good thing we uh, are so, so thorough in our preparation. Yep. yep. Yep, absolutely, and and uh, wow, I like it too. And what I think I like about it too is that the ABV is low. It's very special, four point eight, you know, and it's yep. it's nice, uh, nice easy drinking beer. So this is a pretty unique wit. I, I, I guess I hadn't thought about the grapefruit mm -hmm. aspect. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, most wits, of course, are are well known for the sort of the archetypal spices being coriander seed mm -hmm. and uh, curacao bitter orange peel, but. Um, Grapefruit has a certain kind of, I don't know, bitterness on top of the sourness, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of interesting. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. I don't like getting... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of missing the coriander a little bit, but I wasn't thinking wet when I started drinking it, so um, I wasn't missing it then. Mm -hmm. But And now that, again, it's like the power of suggestion, now that I, I see the word grapefruit, I feel like I taste it in the back of my <laughs> mouth, now, but that's just... that's Hints of watermelon and... No, I'm not getting that. So I know what you're doing. Here you go. <laughs> it's a rosemary and flower. It's poignant and adroit. Exactly. Thank you. It's cool yet flaccid. Yeah, it's nice. Very good. Well, I like this. I like this one a lot. Mother's is uh, Mother's is, is great. I, I I don't know. Where, I have to do a little research to find out where you can find Mother's um, because you really can't. Can you find it here in Georgia? No. No. Okay. Not. Um, in fact, uh, when I saw Brian uh, out at the conference, he said that they are growing, mm -hmm. um, but they're just serving. Uh, fairly markets that are fairly close to the brewery. Got it. So controlled growth, which, controlled which growth, many yeah. of them are trying to do, uh, regardless. That's, that's the key. That's the key. Excellent. 
Well, thank you. This is a, yeah. another treat. And, and again, what, what I also love about them uh, is that they do put uh, serving suggestions for food on all, all of their beers. Every beer that we had, they put it right on the side there, which I think helps people incredibly because that's a whole other area, the beer and food thing. And just to splash it up on the label like that gives you ideas right off the bat. Like, you know what, I'm going to try it with this. And, and, what is uh, their suggestion? I, I, I use wit beers as kind of like a go-to for things you can pair with just about anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, cool. Yeah, excellent. And uh, so, yeah, thank you again, <laughs> Sandy. And thanks to the founder's mom. Yeah. It's a good, good tribute beer. Cheers. Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Think of BeerAmerica.tv. And uh, like us on Facebook, find us on iTunes, and all that good business. Yum. Yum is right. I'm going to have to finish it. Cheers. That's a good one. I like it. Yeah, I can drink it. Oh, that.